shot Nazis in the head all across the European theater, but now Sniper Elite has its sights set on the Sahara. While we didn't run afoul of Rommel or his tanks, there was still plenty of sniping to be done, along with an act of subterfuge or two. The brutal brains, sinew, and skeleton rendering is still supplied in excruciating detail, accentuated even more so by the generous slow-mo and voyeuristic camera angles. Monitoring your heart rate and using a concentration ability allows you to line up the perfect skull-shattering shot. This time, you can also play Sloppy Surgeon with vehicles, first piercing its carapace and then lighting up the inner workings for a wonderful procedural explosion. But there's more to this sniper than gratuitous gunshots. Developer Rebellion has decided to rein in the Rambo and focus more on the strategic, thoughtful elements. You can no longer shrug off damage as easily. Regenerating health has been replaced with health segments, and you'll need to scavenge a rare bandage or a first aid kit to recover. Likewise, finding the perfect sniper's nest doesn't mean you're ready for a long camping trip, as with each shot, enemies will triangulate in on your location, so you'll need to be both mobile and tactical. If you do blow your cover, you can try to put some distance from your last known location to lower the state of emergency. Smart play means pulling out the binoculars and marking your enemies. This allows you to keep tabs on them so you can get in close for a silenced shot from your trusty firearm or apply a quick knife to the head. It's not all slow and go though, misdirection is key. For example, throwing a rock could lead an unfortunate private into a recently planted mine. A large inventory of tools and equipment should inspire plenty of creative ways to kill. But beyond taking down the Nazis, you must also adhere to your objectives. For our mission, large artillery guns needed to be taken out. A direct assault would be certain death, but there were plenty of avenues of attack, with Sniper 3 trying for a less linear approach than past games in the series. Sabotaging a generator provided a cacophonous din to mask our rifle shot, allowing us to thin the ranks. Inspired solutions like this one netted more XP, which we learned can be used to upgrade abilities and items. When it came to the big gun, we snuck beneath and planted some dynamite and then made use of our flint and steel to light the fuse. Finally, we got the hell out of there to watch the big show. For a pre-alpha build, Sniper showed a lot of guts, both literally and metaphorically, and we'll be watching the distance for the next incoming shot.